Why do so many generate so little? There's a reason for it. The people at the bottom see themselves as victims and casualties in life and business, waiting for whatever it is that oppresses them to pass on by and leave them alone. <laughs> and that's how they talk most of the time. And there are many things oppressing them. Well, like what? Name one. Julia Gillard. <laughs> how did we end up with a pommy prime minister? <laughs> then there was Kevin Rudd. I knew he wanted to be prime minister one day. I was just hoping it would be for one day. And then there was John Howard. How could anyone that small be a prime minister? Had a full-length picture of himself and his passport. <laughs> I think his family tree was a bonsai. I give up. I just don't know why they just didn't call him the prime minister and get it all over and done with. Yes, well, we've heard all that. Now tell me, how's business? Uh, well, we're having to work very hard at the moment. Really? What do you normally do? <laughs> you ever heard people in business use that kind of language? having to work very hard at the moment. <laughs> Imagine people in sport talking like that. A few years ago, great tennis players, Pete Sampras, Boris Becker, have a meeting. Hi, Boris. Hello. <laughs> I don't know how he talks. <laughs> well, I haven't met him. But I think it's probably pretty close. Hi, Boris. Hello. Boris. Yes. How do you feel the professional tennis circuit will be next year? I think it could be very tough. But I hope it won't be, because I'm so sick and tired of it being tough. There's only so much that a person could... They don't talk like that. They know it's going to be tough. They plan on it being tough. It can be a harsh language, the German language, can't it? <laughs> well, I know, because I worked for Swarovskop. I had to learn the language. For instance, in our vocabulary, we have a lovely word, butterfly. French word is even nicer, papillon. Do you know what the German word for butterfly is? Schmetterling. <laughs> Watch out for that Schmetterling. <laughs> Sounds like a butterfly with submachine guns attached to it. <laughs> so if you come from America, Canada, Britain, New Zealand, Australia, we know where you're from because of the way you speak. So these people give themselves away. They're not even conscious of it. So they say things like, I want to get paid what I'm worth. <laughs> We're not allowed to pay less than the award. <laughs> I had a sales rep trying to sell me something for our company just recently. This is how he started. This is how he started. After having given me his card, this is how he started. First question. So, uh, what do we have to do to get your business? <laughs> Sorry, uh, could you repeat that? Yeah, what do we have to do to get your business? That's interesting. That's a very interesting question. So you've got no ideas then? <laughs> you have no ideas on how to get my business. So you want me to tell you how you can get my business. Will I be paid a commission on this sale to myself? And I found out early on in the piece that you don't have to love customers. I was asked to call on a prime prospect, a man who was spending all his money with our opposition and on with us. I went to see him. He was a gruff Yorkshireman. Started selling to him. He said, take your papers, son, because that's how they talk in Yorkshire. Take your papers, son, put them in your case, put your case in the car, get in the car with your case, drive away from here and never come back. <laughs> and if you do, I'll call police and have you arrested. And now, get out. <laughs> I said, can I just say one thing before I go? Yes, but make it snappy. I said, I honestly and sincerely wish I had 50 customers just like you. <clears throat> he said, why is that then? I said, because I've got 400 like you at the moment, that's why. <laughs> so we don't have to love customers. We certainly shouldn't hate customers. We should respect customers. I hope you get on very well with your customers. How long do you have to be in business before it dawns on you that everything that you and I will ever own will be paid for by customers? They're not conscious of that, by the way. They don't need to be conscious of it. We should be conscious of it. 